Hello everybody and welcome again to Kelechi Audio View Vlog. Today we are going to get into this creative shoot that just happened a couple of days ago. I met this beautiful lady, former Miss Tourism, her name is Tony Salami. She had this brilliant idea. She was bringing eight different beauty queens uh, from different countries. I'm talking about Miss America, Miss India, Miss, you know, and they were all going to come to Nigeria, experience Lagos and do some charity. And um, she came up with the idea of me shooting them. And I thought to myself, that's a beautiful opportunity for us to showcase the beauty of Lagos. So I decided that in order to do this, we need to photograph these ladies against a monumental object, something that represents Lagos. And the first thing that came to my mind was the Ikoi Link Bridge. Then at the same time, we were thinking we needed something African in the picture. If it's not what they're wearing, maybe a bit of artwork, maybe the props, yeah? So I decided to go to Nike Gallery and they were gracious enough to give us this beautiful seat that is like a work of art and some sculptural pieces which I chose myself because of how they related to beauty, African beauty. And I also got some amazing seats from this young lady that makes incredible furniture. Her name is Demi Owoseje from Majors Chesterfield. Of course, I gave a call to my favorite hairstylist go make me and the brief was that well look at some of the beautiful clothes they are going to make for these ladies and find something that comes to Africa but at the same time complements the outfits and the designer Orika Oto by me yes amazing work that she did you know bringing some of these very 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 flamboyant outfits for the ladies um, we wanted to make something uh, something memorable actually and um, we put all these elements together and they all came together really nicely. Well, this is for the photographers. People, uh, a lot of people have been asking, Kelechi, can you give us a little more technical insight to how you make these images? Well, if you look at it, 
my main goal was to capture these models against you know a background that says they are in Lagos. At the same time, in order to achieve this seamless flow between the foreground and the background, which for me is water, um, I had to make a platform. I made a platform that was a bit shiny, so it sort of reflected the sky just the way the water would reflect the sky. In which case, we didn't need to change the color of the floor. We made it a neutral brown, dark brown with marine boards, and it, it did the job. So when you're looking at the pictures, it seems like a seamless backdrop between the water and the sky. Um, the other thing, I, I did one set of shots with a wide angle, well, relative wide angle lens, 24 mm, you know, to capture the full length of the models, a bit of sky, so we can have a foreground and a background. And of course, making sure that I always saw that beautiful bridge in the background. Um, we also made some photos that were some close-ups. I needed to make some beauty shots um, of these models. I had to switch lens to my 200mm 2.0 lens and completely blow out the background. At this stage, we're not really bothered about you know, um, the bridge anymore. It's a close-up detail of the model. This showed how beautiful they were. And at the same time, some of that wonderful hairstyle. And um, yeah. And for lighting, we had two lighting objectives. There were two major elements in the picture, the subject and the background. So to light our subject and make our subject prominent and make our subject the focal point, I needed to light them with my battery powered light because we are outdoors and there was no electricity. So I was using the Godox 600B, yeah, like two of them. One uh, 45 degrees up as a main light and the other one uh, lower down uh, as a feeling. I had soft boxes on them, you know, just to maintain that softness. And then for the bridge, all I needed was daylight and I needed to adapt to the daylight because I couldn't control that. As we were shooting, it started getting darker. So, um, of course, we kept adjusting. After a while, our shutter speed started getting much slower. We had to keep the camera on a tripod and open up the aperture to get some of that light, beautiful light from the bridge. And um, towards the evening, when the sun went completely down, the background became quite dark. Instead of blending with the hair of the models, decided to introduce a third light, which was a hair light, to separate the models you know, from the background. In order to break up some of that neutral colors, I threw in some blue fabric on the floor. It also added a bit of that Africanness because, um, well, we got those indigo dyed, traditional dyed fabrics from Nikkei Gallery. I think at the end of the day, it all came together to create those kind of memorable images that we intended. Okay, people, I thought that was really exciting. And please subscribe if you want us to send you notifications on more of what we're doing. Don't hesitate to tell us what you think by dropping a note and giving us a thumbs up. Thank you very much.